from a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. I came for the beer and the bitches. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No! I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being a part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. And in this hour, uh, we're going to talk about, uh, you know, uh, as you know, I'm a person of varied interests. I like traveling. Um, I like sports. I like I have many interests. Reading. Go on. I'm a big reader. Yes. Um, but uh, our, our biggest interest around here, of course, as you know, is drinking. And, um, you know, it's politically incorrect to say that. You're supposed to say that drinking is bad, drinking is wrong. You're not supposed to drink. Uh, we, we Americans are the biggest hypocrites uh, when it comes to booze. We love to talk about drinking responsibly. We love to talk about, uh, you know, uh, drinking less and drinking's bad and low alcohol this and no alcohol that. And the real truth is we're the biggest boozers in the world. We just lie about it. <laughs> That's all it is. And um, there are some people, and our guest, I think, is uh, certainly one of those people, uh, and I'm one of those people, people who say, you know what, I like to drink. I like to drink. Uh, that doesn't mean I'm walking around uh, getting the DTs. It doesn't mean I'm uh, driving drunk. It doesn't mean I'm acting like a nut. It just means that uh, I enjoy booze in all its forms, all the countries it comes from, all the different cultures. Hell, uh, just about every vacation I take is based on wine country and where the wine is being made. And one of these days I'm going to go take a tequila trip, for God's sake. And uh, it's done me very well. Our guest, this is what he does. He travels and drinks. Two of my favorite things in the whole world to do. So, Zane Lamprey, thank you so much for coming in. Good to see you. Thank you very much, Tom, for having me here. You have a television program where you combine two of my favorite activities. How did this happen? D dumb luck, really. I went in, I, I uh, auditioned for a Food Network show, um, and they said, you are so wrong for this. But there's a show where we travel around the world and drink. Are you interested? And I said, yeah, you know, call, call, call my agent. Is that really is that really a show? Sure enough, uh, maybe you know a week later on the, they're on the phone. A month after that, I'm up in Seattle shooting the pilot at a Polish social club, um, where I wasn't sure if they wanted me to be knowledgeable or be able to hold my alcohol. So I did both. I got very drunk, and then uh, a month after that, I was in Ireland shooting the first episode. So. Wow. Yes. And so now you're going into your third season? I am. I, I, we are in the middle of the third season, or toward the end of the, of the third season, and we are uh, shooting the fourth season. So wow. I, I can hold my booze very well, Tom. So uh, where, where are some of the places you've been? Oh, my goodness. I'm gonna, can I go to my cheat sheet here? Yeah, yeah, why not? What have we got in my notes? Oh, uh, man. I, you know, well, I just got back from Africa. Um, what a gig! Thank you. I just. I, what I, am I doing here? I got drunk. I got uh, possibly malaria and upper respiratory infection, but I drank with the Maasai in uh, Tanzania. I went to Namibia. I went to Cape Town. Uh, it was it was amazing. It, it takes its toll, but but it's 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 well worth it. Now, uh, what have you learned about drinking uh, around the world? I, I'm curious about this. Uh, do people have uh, the same reasons for uh, getting buzzed uh, for drink? Do they drink to get buzzed first of all? Yeah, you know what? Pe people drink to get for the effects. People drink to get drunk, not necessarily drunk, but they 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 drink to 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 lower their inhibitions and and sort of maybe be more of who they are to some degree, and then and then you go off the uh, you know off the deep end and you you turn into an idiot. But you know, uh, people everywhere like to have a drink. 
every country we go to has its own beer, has its own spirit, has its own wines. I mean, look at like Cape Town, for example, all these different wines, all these different these beers, these these boozes. And people go out to 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 relax and have a good time. And people ask me, how do you get people to, to open up so much on your show? How do you get them to relax? What's the you know the the magic potion? And the magic potion is is booze. You know, get go in and buy someone a drink, and you will get and you will learn more about the history of a country and the people that live there than if you go and spend a hundred dollars on some stupid tour taking photos of monuments and 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 pictures of you know stuff that you've seen already in magazines. How's that for your answer? Well, that's a very good answer. Now, now, I uh, I have not traveled as much as you have because I haven't had a show to pay my expenses. And if I ever do, I will certainly... Uh... Tom, I'm pretty sure that you could afford to take the trips I've taken. Well, I'm <laughs> working on it right now, as a matter of fact. One thing I have found, though, in the places I have gone is to compare just about any country where I've been to the United States. Yeah. We're, we're a bunch of uh, fakers. We're a bunch of liars, I mean, about, about drinking. You know what we are? It, it, the thing that I feel the most when I come home is sort of how gluttonous our society is. And, you know, I come back and I go to, you know, I'll... I'll I'll be on the road and I'll be looking for something specific in a, in a in a grocery store or whatever, and then I come home and I go into Costco and I'm just like, you got you got to be kidding me! It's, you know, it it's it's like it's a love hate relationship, just like people who live in California. They, we love it, we hate it, and the same with the U.S. People love it and then they complain about it, but you know what? It's a great place to come back to, and it, and it's you know, as amazing as the places that I that I go and I've been to like 50 countries. I, I I I always miss coming home, you know. After after a few days. Well, I I love coming home, but by the same token, after I've been in uh, places like Spain, yeah, uh, where bars are open until five a.m. and uh, and uh, and open at five thirty, right? <laughs> but by the same token, in Spain, I didn't see any drunken Spaniards ever. Uh, they drink in moderation, and in fact, they they don't drink a lot at all. That's the only place I got attacked was in Spain, by the way. Attacked <laughs> in Barcelona? Yeah, we were. You know, we, the the network thought, hey, this is where they do that that thing where they basically start at six and they drink until six, and so they wanted me to do that. And usually, we shoot over the course of like three days. We piece it together so people think maybe I'm a little bit more of a hero than I really am. And, you know, at one place, about 3 in the morning, we're sitting there getting our camera ready to, to, sh- to shoot. And this guy comes up and just grabs this $60,000 camera. And we had to sort of, you know, tackle him and take him out. It, that's the first time anything like that's ever happened. But it, it's no indication to the country because we, we ran into no other trouble there. So. Yeah. But, I mean, uh, they have a very interesting attitude about drinking. Uh, in fact, it's not just drinking. It's also gambling. Um, Spain has legal casinos anywhere, anywhere. And you look at them any time of day, they are completely empty. Nobody's there, but you can gamble any time you want to. Uh, same thing with booze. You can drink practically 23 hours a day in Spain. Uh, you can drink at the drinking ages, I think, 15 in Spain. France, no drinking age at all. You don't see teenagers staggering around drunk. Uh, you don't see adults running around drunk. You just don't see it like no, you see you're, it. You're, you're absolutely correct. I, you know, Europe as... I mean, every country is certainly different than here, but Europe specifically, uh, I went to Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is 12 days. Um, there's 6 million people that go. So there's 500,000 people going there every day. And if you look at the, the numbers of, of beer, the amount of beer and everything that they consume, it's ridiculous. I, I was there for two full days. I didn't see one fight, one altercation of any sort. If you had anything remotely like that in the U.S., You'd have security up the wazoo, and and you couldn't could move because there'd be trouble. Imagine if you held that in Boston. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It'd be all fistfights. That that's a good. You know, I, I'm actually doing an event in Boston. I do this thing called Zane Crawl, where I take fans uh, on international pub crawls of U.S. cities, and and I, I hope that I don't find that to be true, Tom. I hope you don't. Also, <laughs> now uh, tell us you're you're on a network that uh, I, I only know a little bit about the Mojo HD network. Uh, tell us about this TV network. Um, it's a uh, it's a purely high def network. If you have generally, if you have cable. Um, and you have high def, then you get Mojo. If you have like Dish or Direct or something like that, you, you don't get it. Um, so it's you know the number of homes is is pretty much doubling every year, as is the number of homes with with high def. Um, when I first started doing it, I hadn't even heard of the network. It was sort of like eh, this is a job. I'm enjoying myself, but no one's gonna ever see it. And now it's turned into this thing where, quite frankly, every time I leave the house, someone will, will stop me and say they love the show and. Um, when I was in Africa, I got stopped in every country I was at from tourists. Um, so it's, 
you know, Mojo has really taken off. They've really grown. They have some really great programs. Um, the our um, our brother or sister program, whatever, is uh, is called I Bet You. It's uh, Phil Locke and Antonio. Esfandiari, <laughs> and he uh, Esfandiari. He's, he's, yes, no, they've like been to, here. I like to make. Oh yeah, I like to make fun. They've of been guys. here, yeah. So they they bet each other back and forth, and uh, and that's that's a pretty awesome show too. But there's there's some there's some good programming. You know, when I I have an, a high def uh, set, so whenever I sit down to watch TV, the first thing I go to is my high def channels. That's I think that's what we all do. Yeah, I'm spoiled now. I've got seven high def TVs. Well, I got one time. No, I don't watch anything. You could trade one in and take a nice trip. If it's not in HD, I, I've stopped watching. It. I, that's you know, my wife thinks I'm crazy. I had to show her. I had to keep going back and forth. Say, look at this. Now look at it in high def. Look at the Laker game here. Look at the, well, we won't talk about the Laker game, the Boston game. But anyway, you get the idea. Yes, the show's called Three Sheets, and uh, I'm imagining, like most cable networks, this is on several times a week. It's on uh, 37 times a day. <laughs> 37 times a day. Right? It, no, it, it is literally on multiple times a day, which is great for me. I mean, get, you're not going to get that kind of airplay anywhere else. People, people will say something like, "Yeah, it's too bad it's not on Comedy Central or Spike or this or that." But you know, if it was on one of those channels, they wouldn't let us get away with. Uh, one tenth as much as we get away with. I mean, I'm drunk in, in, in many of the episodes. I mean, let's face it; they would they would edit that stuff out. Um, and, uh, and 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 then it would you know it air once a week. And on Mojo, you know, you, I bet if you turn on Mojo right now, it's probably on. probably on right yeah. now. <laughs> well, I, uh, we're talking here with Zane Lamprey, and he is the host of a TV show called Three Sheets, where he drinks and travels. And travels and drinks, and he meets other people who drink, and uh, and uh, this is the the theme of the show, which I think is fantastic because it's two of our favorite things to do, and uh, you can see it on the Mojo HD network. And by the way, they've got a website; it's uh, mojohd.com. You can learn more about their programming and find out about three sheets. But we're going to talk about booze and travel this hour with Zane Lamprey, and your telephone calls are coming up. <laughs> Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-866. I don't trust anything that bleeds for a week and doesn't die. <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. I'm one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. We appreciate it. Zane Lamprey is here. His show is called Three Sheets. You will find it on the Mojo HD cable network. And um, he gets to travel and booze with the locals wherever he goes. And you've had a number of adventures in various countries. What are some of the more interesting countries you've gone? Oh, Man, you know, every place I go is unique. Um, like I said, I just got back from Africa. That was amazing. But that's not, you know, that won't come out until probably January, season four. But uh, what's coming out? Cognac. That was amazing. Learn, learning about that. It was it was pretty mellow. Um, Hong Kong. That was awesome. Really? That, that was that was crazy. But uh, I'm now I'm fishing. Here's the best one. Seoul. Seoul, Korea. They can drink circles. It was incredible. Really? They, they, are, they, are, they are amazing. Now, were you a big traveler before you did the show? I, I had been to, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, San Francisco. Sorry. Uh, no, I, I hadn't traveled that much, but, uh, you know, was always eager to. But it, it was just so expensive, and it was such an ordeal, and now it's like it's all, it's all laid out for me. It's a... It's a pretty good deal, but no, I didn't travel that much before. So now you've got this amazing experience. Suddenly, it's one country after another. It's yeah. I mean, I'll, I'll go out and we'll, it'll be two countries back to back, three countries back to back, four countries back to back. I'll, I'll sometimes forget where I am for a moment, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm I'm, I'm really I, I'm 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 very very lucky, and I I know that every day. Um, you know, I get to go to a different country. As soon as I get bored with it after three, four days, I move on to a new one, and I've seen things that, that people can only, you know, hope to see. But if they watch three sheets, then, then they get to see them. So. Let's take your calls now for Zane Lamprey at 1-800-5800-TOM. It's 1-800-5800-866. We're talking about boozing, traveling, and the whole combination, which is the best. Scott on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hey, Tom, thanks for taking my call. I'm sure. a long-time listener and a graduate of your philosophy. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, Zane, I have one question for you. Yes, what Scott. was it like partying? I saw the episode. I've actually seen probably every one of your episodes, but two of them stick in my mind. The first episode was the one when you went to Croatia. Yeah, oh, man, that was an awesome place. That's so amazing. Well, you, 
How was uh, you had to actually learn a little? Uh, you were singing there at the end of the uh, episode. Yeah, you know what, dude? I I was drinking so much I had no idea what I was saying. Did I sound like I knew what I was doing? Uh, not a no. clue. Not a clue. No, I was just I, I was I was just humming along. I just figure if I sing louder than them, it'll sound like I know what I'm talking about. Not a One clue. One more. But, yeah. Hey, tell tell everybody about. I, I go to Hong Kong every year. Yeah. But t- tell everybody about the the building with that that's o- that only has the the nightclubs in it. Yeah, man, that was nuts. How, how many floors was that? Like twenty floors or twelve floors? Twenty. I, 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 I think there was twelve. I, okay, twelve. Okay, so yeah, it's 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 you know you walk in this building. It's a long line to get in a building, and then you walk in the elevator. There's there's floor one through twelve, and you pick a floor, you open it, and then that's your bar. And then you pay usually you pay a cover for the night. It's, it probably was anywhere from fifty to a hundred bucks, and then you, you can drink all you want, and then you can go between floors and that kind of thing. But so yeah, it's that, like a shopping mall of nightclubs. It was it was exactly it was a wow. assembly line. It was amazing. It was amazing. Was that was that on the English side? Um. I, Do you remember? No, I, I was drinking, man. I don't even know what you're talking about. No, I, I the English side, I got a 50-50 shot here. No. <laughs> <laughs> that means you had a great time. I had, an awesome, I had an awesome time. Take care. You guys, see, see Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. 1-800-5800-TOM. Our guest, Zane Lamprey. His show is Three Sheets. This is Dustin on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I just got to tell you, man, you must be truly grateful because I am honestly extremely jealous. Of of Tom? As am I. You know how much money that guy makes? Oh, my God. Of your chosen career path, sir. Uh, who, is he talking to me or I you, I think he's Tom? talking to you, sir. I don't believe that for a second. But okay, thank you. I would give my right testicle to have your job. I gave my left testicle. If you and I got together, we'd have three <laughs> testicles, I suppose. Uh, Sorry. When are you guys going to have trials for a co-star? Because I'm definitely taking that. You know, Dustin, we, I was going to have my people call you, um, but we couldn't get through. Yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the most common question I get asked. Everyone's like, do you need a co-? Yeah. The, you know what? Someone keeps keeps asking me that. I'm just like, you know, I get the call. Do you need a, and I'm like, no, Mom. I'm, we're all set. you got to stop calling me. So. No. I'll let you know, Dustin. I got your number. I'll call you. Thank you, Dustin. <laughs> Here's Leonard on the Tom Likas show for our guest, Zane Lamprey. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing? Doing okay. All right. A uh, couple corrections um, as far as Barcelona is concerned. First of all, the drinking age is 18. And second of all, all the clubs and bars in Barcelona close at 2 o'clock. I don't think that's true for beer because they were selling beer at McDonald's in Madrid. Now, it might be Barcelona's 18. No, it's not. I mean, yeah. the, the, the drinking age may be 18. I don't know, but the bars didn't close it, too. Yeah, were you in Los Ramblas in Barcelona? Uh, we were not. You mean on the little the little promenade strip there? That's the major part of the heart of the clubs and bars in, yeah. Los, in Los Ramblas. Everything yeah. shuts down at two o'clock. Uh, police is, the police enforce that. So where were the poli- where were the police when I got attacked? Uh, well, and, I don't enf- know about enforcing that, enforcing the drinking. I'm, what I'm saying to you is that Los Ramblas, that is the heart of Barcelona. Well, I know. I was, maybe it's not the whole country, but when I was in Madrid, the bars were open all night. All night. And McDonald's serves beer, and they had a sign at McDonald's that said you had to be 15 and over to get beer. Tom, he, he says you're a liar. I don't know. <laughs> well, I'm going to decide All he knows about is Barcelona. <laughs> what does he know about Madrid? I, you know, I, I, I know that I was drinking at a bar, drinking sangria at 3.30 in the morning, but... Where where in Barcelona? Where I don't know. He's probably with the authorities. I've been to turn them in. I've been to fifty countries. Yeah, I, was, I don't. I don't know. I was okay. in Los Ramos. Los Ramos. Back from there. So. Oh. All right. All right. Well, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Tom, I'm, I have to. It's a ruse. I don't know anything. I don't even travel. <laughs> he got me. Bill on the Tom Likas show for our guest Zane Lamprey. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, Zane. Great show. Um, I would love to know, what do you do to fulfill your needs when you're on the road? What do you do for the ladies? Do you meet up with them after? Do you meet with them during the show? Do you turn up the cameras? You know? What do you do? Um, I have uh, the internet. I have uh, Tom Likas, which sometimes comes on at the appropriate time. And I have uh, various uh, photographs and other things to get me through the long nights. Are are you offering something, Bill? <laughs> so, I mean, are you, like, meeting ladies while you're out of you? 
I, I meet all sorts of people, but no, I, I'm I'm a married guy. I'm I'm very faithful, and oh, uh, there it is. There you go. Well, oh, oh, oh I, he's going to put the, the Tom Likas philosophy on me. <laughs> I, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll break up with my wife and, and leave my kid as soon as I get home, Bill. Didn't know, didn't know you were married. Makes perfect sense now. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I uh, assume because you're having so much fun, you couldn't possibly be married and have a kid. Yeah, well, you know, I, 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 I do set boundaries for myself. I'm not stupid. I'm a guy. So when I, you know, at, at night when we're done shooting our scene, every single time, I go back to my room because, the, you know, once I'm shooting the scene, it's like 11 o'clock and I'm drunk. It's, you know, it's it, it, it's not appropriate for me to be out there, uh, you know, getting more drunk. Uh, come on. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, Aaron <laughs> on the Tom Likas show. Rosane Lamprey, hello. Hello. Um, I just had a question because this show sounds like the exact type of thing that I would love to watch. And um, I watch Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations, and that's pretty cool to watch. But, uh... I was just wondering whether or not, because I'm a new HD user, whether or not you have to pay for that network. What? What is? Who's your provider? You know. Um, Time Warner Cable. Yeah. So if you have Time Warner HD, then you got you 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 got Mojo. You're hooked in. Go get yourself a bottle of something, and, and go uh -huh. and, and go and watch. It's not only a, um, a a drinking show; it's also a drinking game. So you can play. Oh, really? Yes, you can play along. The the rules are: you drink when I drink. Um, whenever uh, you see this monkey, his name is Pleplius, he's hidden throughout the show. Whenever the first person to see him uh, can make someone else drink. Um, when I talk about my buddy Steve McKenna, it's a social. But if you're watching it by yourself, you pretty much just have to drink whenever you, whenever I'm on screen. Oh, great. That sounds like But, yeah, you have it. But if someone doesn't have it, uh, they can go to my MySpace page. I have an episode up there, myspace.com slash Zane Lamprey. Um, you can also go to Hulu, H-U-L-U dot com, and I think every single episode is up there, uh, and it's free. And you, awesome. and you can drink along with your computer. That is so great. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Andrew on the Tom Likas show with our guest Zane Lamprey. His show is called Three Sheets. Hello. How's it going, guys? Uh... Okay. Good, good. Actually, planning a trip out to uh, Helsinki, Finland, and Latvia this summer with my uh, recently divorced uncle. I'm looking to have a good time. I was wondering if you actually had been out there and uh, make any good recommendations. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, he needs to get his uncle laid. Yes, uh, I, I recommend. Yeah, going, exactly. Get your uncle drunk, leave him at the hotel room, and go out and have some fun. No, I, you know, uh, I haven't not been to those places. I'm going to Estonia, and I've been to Norway, but not Latvia or Helsinki. But, um, you know, general, okay, you know, it's what I said before, man. If you, you want to really have a good time, go into some place. You know, go in before it gets too crazy. Don't go in, like, at 11 or even 10 o'clock. Go in at, like, 9 when people are just starting to get there. Start buying some people drinks, you know, it, and it's a good idea, and I've learned this, trust me, when I'm on the road, you want to have allies when you're out and you're drinking. So you get some people when they're sober, you're buying some drinks, Biggest guy in the room doesn't hurt, you know, and then and then you're uh, you know you're, you 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 got some friends for the night. So it's a good rule. It works. There you go. Q A in there. All right. Yeah. How about uh, how was Estonia? By the way, is it a good time? Or? Uh, it, considering it's in the future, I'll I'll I'll, I'll call you back. I got your number. No, I'm shooting I'm shooting that in uh, in a few weeks, and uh, but it won't air until uh, until after January. So. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate Thank you, Andrew. the call. It's Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Alan. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I have a question. I was wondering if you ever had the OG absinthe. I got OG absinthe right here for Tom. That's an excellent segue. And, Look at that. and Tom, you gonna have some? I'm gonna have some. This is uh, this is French absinthe, and you cannot get this in the U.S. Smell that? How'd you it's, get it? Well, you know what? I'll, I'll you get if if you get a few enough mm. bottles, you can get them in. Just go to eabsinthe.com. And order up. Don't order more than three bottles. So the customs will stop it, and and you'll have to pay. You know, they just they won't let it through. But um, yeah. yeah, I have Tom. Are you going to do this with me, man? I'm going to do this with you. All right. So I have uh, I have absinthe sitting in front of me, and I have these sugar cubes. Hey, so does that stuff work? <laughs> hey, here's the deal. Does it work? What do you mean? Does it work? Here, here's the, the deal. Alcohol part, the hallucinating. All right. So so obviously this is the same You're stuff. You're going to find out between now and the end of the hour. <laughs> this is the same stuff that Van Gogh was drinking when he did all his pretty paintings and then and then, and then yeah. cut cut off his ear, right? Yeah. So so because it has something called thujone in it. 
So, so the Thujon level was so high at one point. I'm sure. I'm sure. What's his name? Is going to call me up and correct me again. The guy from Barcelona. <laughs> yeah. But but the, the Thujon level was so high. The alcohol was low. Okay. So when you drank like six of them, you got more Thujon than you got alcohol. So you got this psychotropic element to it, and you, you started to hallucinate. But now they've lowered that, and the alcohol con- look at the alcohol content of that. What is that? Forty five percent. So that's that's oh, not wow. that's ninety proof. That's pretty good stuff. Yeah. So you drink six of these. You're going to be drunk. You're not going to feel the thujon. thujon. So it's it's sort of the opposite effect. You drink enough if you can hold your booze. I, I suppose it would happen. But now there's even, the, the, you know, controversy over even if thujon was the the element to that. So. By the way, I've been taking Nyquil for three or four days now. If this is any worse than Nyquil, I'm a big trouble. And this is trouble. Hey, Tom. I- Yes, um, yes. Now with the biggest bong grip you got. There, now, now we know where you're coming <laughs> he from. He wasn't even going to wait for the. Uh, yeah, Wait for it. Wait for it. Nice. <laughs> it. It's the biggest bong rip we've got now. That was fantastic. We have a break coming up, so let's take the break. You got we, it. We will come back, and we will hook ourselves up with some absinthe here, and then you're going to find out. Does it make you hallucinate? You're going to know before the end of this hour with Zane Lamprey. His show is called Three Sheets. He gets to drink and booze. It's on the Mojo HD Network. Check with your local cable company. More of your telephone calls coming up. Tom Likas. Like 1-800-5800-TOM. Likas. 1-800-5800-866. What college are you attending? Uh, I wasn't attending college. I right. I know. know. You were going to Bonham Young University. No, but... Right. Uh, that was the college you were going to, right? No. I was going to go to college, but then I switched my career. You switched to, to Bonham Young. Yes, you did a transfer. Is Bonham. that in Utah, Bonham Young? Yeah. Right. BYU. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, I'm Tom Likas. You can reach us here at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. With us in studio, Zane Lamprey, who is the host of a TV program called Three Sheets. It's a drinking travel show. That's what it is. He travels and then drinks with the locals. That's what he does. It's on the Mojo HD network, available on many, many, many cable systems around the country. And uh, the uh, here he is, his third season, shooting the fourth season, and uh, having a lot of fun. And we were about to uh, imbibe a little absinthe here. So uh, this is the real deal absinthe. What's the deal on absinthe? Because we keep hearing that there's there's the real absinthe, and then there's uh, some bogus stuff that's being led into the United States. What, what's the deal? You can, I mean, I'm not an expert on it, but you you can go to a liquor store, you can buy a bottle of absinthe, but... I, the the amount of thujone they allow in here is is trace amounts as compared to what you can get in Europe and it's a, it's just it's a little bit more um you know it, it I get my stuff from uh from like I said eabsinthe.com I you know it's it's eabsinthe.com yeah. <laughs> I at first I'm like you know what I'm just going to say eharmony.com <laughs> I just rolled the dice I figured if I, you know I was paying 200 bucks to get three bottles shipped and I figured you know what, I'm going to lose this money but It'd be fun, but you know, sure enough, like three days later, they they arrive. So wow, yeah, I I do. Uh, as I mentioned before, I do something called Zane Crawl, and we 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 have the absinthe on that. And just to tell people what it is, it's an international pub crawl through U.S. cities. We we did L.A., we did New York City, we have Boston coming up in August, we have Chicago, San Francisco. You just go to ZaneCrawl dot com and you know come and hang out with me for the weekend. Uh, it includes all your drinks, your food, your transportation, and and is you get to hug me. Wow. I'm going to let you hug me for free, though, Tom, after we do this. Thank you for that. You're welcome. (laughs) I thought you'd never ask. I was, you know, I was was just working my way up to it. So, are you ready for it? I'm ready. When's the last time you had a flame in your studio? (laughs) Is that? We can't talk. No, because because we're not doing that. We're not here to out anybody. We don't have that, anything. Okay, here we go. So, here, just dump this uh, over the sugar cube. You're going to watch me do it first? Or my. You even heard that, huh? All right, so you're dumping it over the sugar cube. What does that? What does that do? It's going to help dilute it. Then you light the sugar cube. Light the sugar cube, and then you let it drip in um, 
some of the the sugary sweet goodness. What's burning you? The absinthe or the sugar? The alcohol. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then, so then, it basically, it's, it's you know, it's it's it's. It's just sweetening up the the absinthe. It tastes horrible, and the point is to make it try to taste taste better. I almost Oops. just burned everything, and it's like, it might be hot. Okay. <laughs> awesome. All right, Tom. <laughs> Sounds great. Your, your turn. All right. So, uh, so dump that over the. Uh, I'll walk through the uh, listeners. Right, through. So Do we have a glass? We have a, a, an absinthe spoon sitting across the top of the glass with a sugar cube on it. We're dumping the absinthe on top. And then we're going to light the... Um... Sounds like Tom just took a pee. Zip up. Uh, <laughs> and then we light that. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> and we and let that uh, burn for Let that burn for a little bit. I have to say, I just got a text message from my wife who told me to... Be a little more concise with my answers. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to start doing that right now. Oh, very good. Uh, here we go. I'm going to dump that in there for you, Tom. And uh, and uh, and enjoy. It's really not that bad. It's tasting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad. It, ha- it leaves a weird aftertaste, right? Well, I've tasted weirder than that. What is that? Man? It is vaguely. I gotta tell you something. It's vaguely like ouzo. It has like kind of an anise taste to it. It does. It does. It. it, it it's. I, I guess it's the wormwood. Although it might have anise added to it. Um, I don't read French. I speak yeah. it, but I don't read it. No, yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. You know, I gave some of this to my my brother in law last weekend, and it made him crazy. So I don't know. Maybe it was. It a, maybe... Do, I will say this though. It does have an immediate. Mm, Something yeah. happened in my head there. Yeah, it kind of yeah, it, give, it numbs out your head. It makes your tongue, yeah. tongue a little numb. You come on Zane Crawl, Tom Zanecrawl dot com, and you can drink as much as you like. Look at that. See that? We call that a plug. Um, <laughs> so hey, can we take that one so I can have that call right there? So I can have Tom take a. Uh, Which one do you want me to take now? Line three. Yes, line three. Line three. All right, Mike. Mike is in Salem, Oregon, on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey Zane. What's up Love there? Both your shows. Who do you like better? Stop it. Um, well, unfortunately, I don't have cable anymore, but I loved it when I had cable. I think that was me, Tom. That See that? I'm pretty so sure now, that. now he's forced to take us a sloppy seconds. <laughs> 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 hey, I got a question for you. On that uh, rum vi- that Viper run that you took, how bad was that? You know you what? You look like you're about ready to choke. I'm going to have I'm gonna have Tom tell you right now, man, because <laughs> oh, I, I tell no. you, no, no joke, I brought this into the studio. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to, oh, can you, yeah, we have, oh, well, What is the story of this stuff? All right, listen, here, here, here's the deal. I, I got, I, I, I called this place called the Maruba Spa, where, where I had this down in, in Belize, okay? And they, basically, it's rum. They take a live like, pit viper. It's like a small, looks like a rattlesnake or something. Oh. And they put it in the bottle. They fill it with rum. They, they cap it off. The snake dies in it, and it's supposed to be like an aphrodisiac does something for your schmackle or something. Really? Like yeah. So so I had it in the show. It is, it is, so it's, it's like uh, liquid Viagra. Yeah. Okay. At least that's how it was sold. But, you know, I, 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 I again, I, I got it for Zane Crawl. I, Didn't I, work for you? I, I Everyone was drinking it, and I passed. So I have not had this you thing. You passed, and you're going to pass it on to me now. No, I'm going to have it with you, man. Okay. Ugh. Oh God! Man. Oh boy! I'm gonna here, see if here. I were ever convinced the guys wanted to do me in and take over the show. This All is right. it right here. <laughs> Smell it. And then tell for, oh. for people who don't know what it is. Look! Look! Look oh, at it! Oh my! Look at that! That's um. Okay, I'm, I'm only gonna. It's so kind of cloudy. I think the cloudy is what is that, happens. Is that like viper? Uh, I think it's what happens when you kill a snake and it's in a bottle of rum. It it, it takes a dump on itself. <laughs> oh my! So God. Uh, you oh. had to call in and ask about this, didn't you, Mike? I was well, gonna, I was going to bring it out regardless. <laughs> oh then. That was what you know. That was one of the old original episodes. I I I, I actually uh, my wife was with me on that that shoot, and she. Uh, she refused. Yeah, it's, it's vile. Now, I have never seen Gary What's react it? that way to booze. Never. Do we eat that afterwards? Um, no. What do you? I don't. For, I don't remember. Yeah. Hey. Um, is that your wife? The, no, no, no. Jim the cop is trying to is trying to te- trying to call in. Jim the cop is a character in the show. He's a nutball. So I think you you um you take the uh, the uh, the watermelon here, dip it in the, in the little. We have powdered sugar here, 
And then you do a shot, and then you eat the watermelon. Really? Yeah. And what does that do? It's it's for your your your, it's, it's wait, for your pecker. I know, you know what? I have never eaten watermelon. And said to myself, you know what? Not sweet enough. <laughs> <laughs> Need to dip this in sugar. <laughs> this stuff we're going to drink is so vile. You have to take a cube of watermelon, yeah. and you have to dip it in sugar, and then drink the stuff. Yeah, I mean, look at this, man. There are there, there are snake pieces. I mean, look at that. There's scales. That that right there. That looks. Oh. It has to be fecal matter of some sort. Why? Didn't you have your sound man or somebody take a shot of that? I, you know, usually when they, they they like to surprise me on the show, they like to bring out something and, and like surprise me. This was a surprise. I didn't know that I'd be drinking uh, a bottle of rum with a dead snake in it. So if they if they pull something like this on me, then I'll have Christina, uh, the field producer, take a, a shot of it, and then usually I would say. Uh, eight times out of nine, she throws up. <laughs> I love it. It's hilarious. Mm-hmm. So, all right. So, am I going to go first? Yeah, go yes, you are. If I vomit, do you, you promise that you'll, do, you'll, you'll drink it? <laughs> oh, then I guarantee you I'll drink it. <sighs> Trying to clean out my pipes for a while. I got to hear this. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, that is so bad. <laughs> oh, that is so and bad. And now you want me to drink that live on the air, do you? But, Tom, oh. you got to finish it, man. Oh. Gary? I'm with you. You're oh, the producer. You want God. me to drink this. Yeah, I'm right next to you. I'm going You're for You're telling it. me you want me to drink this. You go. You go, Good. I go with God. you. But you know what's awesome? No. After you take a sip, don't take the, the, the watermelon right away. You taste it? Taste it. Really? Taste it. Oh. Let taste it. Savor it, Ready? gentlemen. He's not very often you're gonna be able to drink something like this. He's eating the watermelon already. Tom, lay off the watermelon. I'm cheating. <laughs> I'm cheating. <laughs> Pace yourself. Pace yourself. I am cheating. All I'm... right, now I'm gonna go. Where is this yours? That's yours right that's there. Mine. Oh, look, I gave you a little baby sip. Oh, that stuff looks oh, absolutely look at, disgusting. Oh, look, at, look at Gary. Oh. <laughs> Don't. All right, here we go. Taste it. I've watched Gary booze for years. I have never seen him look like that with booze. He's drinking a dead poopy snake. Dead poopy snake. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. oh He's my. walking away with his headphones oh. attached. You know, I've only got three minutes left to do the show. Do you really want me to end the show by vomiting? Do you really want that? How is an aphrodisiac? Who would want to would want to kiss someone who just had dead snake in their Actually, mouth? Actually, the alcohol kills a lot of it. Give it kills. a shot. Go for it. <laughs> You're oh, just it. saying that to get me to do this. Yeah. You want me to drink it? Yeah. Right now, yeah, and, then, and then and then and then and then hang it. tight, and then hang tight on the watermelon. Relax. Yeah, the smell of that is just, disgusting. I don't smell. Just go. No, yeah. smell it. Don't think of the dead snake, though. Don't th- don't think of its fecal matter. Don't think of it, Tom. Don't think of it. It's bad. Oh my God! He threw up. Black off down. Black off down. Oh my God! Absolutely. Oh my God! Oh, that was. That is the most. That is the most rancid thing. Oh, oh, oh my God! I want to say hello. Tom, you threw up. I want to say Tom, you threw up on my flip flops. Just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, but it came, you know, it came out. It was, oh, In- that was that's a new record. I oh. want to say hello to a girl named Michelle. I want to say hello to a girl named Michelle because that's the most. This now is the most rancid thing I've ever. <laughs> 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 that was awesome. You finally, got... oh, finally, the log jam is broken. Uh, you got something on your shirt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do we have any paper oh, towels over there, Art? I'm no. just curious. We do these things so that we never have anything to wipe up with. Okay. Oh, my God. Well, you knew this was going to be bad. That oh, bad. my yes, God. That's really. awful. That's you want another no one? Time at you all. want another shot? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Step it up. Can you make a mojito with that? <laughs> Delicious. Now you see why I took a drink. What? But hey, listen. I know there's. You know, it's it's a plug. Come on, Zane Crawl. Try the Viper Rum. See if you can hold it together. Unbelievable, Zane Lamprey. The show is called Three Sheets. You can watch Zane travel around the world and to drink stuff like we just did. <laughs> and that's on television. It's on the Mojo HD Network. Thanks awesome. so much for coming in. You Good to see you. It. Thank you for throwing up on my flip flops. There it is. Uh, MojoHD.com <laughs> is the website for the network. And you can see episodes. And you can thrill yourself with stuff like what we just did there. That's MojoHD.com. 
Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.